artist friends, are you ready to draw something great? Today I'm going to show you how to draw a castle. Now you can make this castle whatever you want. It can be a beautiful, pretty castle on a hill. It can be a rundown castle that's been burned by dragons. It's up to you because you are the artist of your paper. I'm going to show you kind of a simple way to draw the castle and then I'm going to go a little step further showing you how to draw texture, detail, and even shadow. You can draw whatever you're comfortable with and whatever you like. You can keep on going or you can stop when you feel like you're ready to be done. Okay, are you ready to draw a castle? Grab your crayons or your pencils or your markers and a piece of paper and let's get started. First thing that we're going to draw is a square. I'm going to draw the bottom part of the square before I draw the top and you'll see why in just a minute. Okay, so there's the bottom part of my square. Now as I go across the top, I am going to go down, or sorry, across, down, across, up. Okay, we're just making those little notches that we see in castles. So we go across the top, down, across, and back up. All the way until you reach your edge. Okay, now you'll notice that this is bigger than this. It's okay, it doesn't matter. All right, now we're going to draw um, an upside down U or a rainbow shape for our drawbridge door. Okay, just like that. All right, now we're going to draw a couple towers on the side. Now I want them to look like they're behind this and overlap them a little bit. So we're going to start right here and I'm going to draw, see how I went just slanted in just a bit? And on this one I'm going to slant just out just a bit and instead of going straight across I'm going to curve that line because this tower is round so we have to make all of our lines curved. Okay, the same thing over here. I'm going to start right here and draw a little bit slanted this way and then a line that slants out a little bit this way and curve around to the bottom. Okay, now let's put another tower taller right here in the middle. We're going to go straight up. Okay, and then we're going to do what we practiced before, down, up, or across, down, across, up, like that. Let's make our little notches. Okay, and then we're going to go up a little higher and I'm going to go in just a little bit. You see how my lines curve in just a tad? And at the top of this, I am going to draw a curved line. This time, watch my hand, I drew it this way. If you're standing here and looking up, it's going to curve this way, okay? Now at the top of this, we're just going to draw a triangle. And this is going to be the top of a tower, just like that. Okay, and right here, we're going to do that same, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to curve down, curve down, and then just make those two meet in a point, like that. Okay, now let's draw a couple windows. Over here, we can just draw rectangular windows. And right here, Maybe we can have a little bit of a bigger window. And at the tower, let's draw a window that looks kind of like our drawbridge. Okay, now it's time to add some details. And the first thing I want to do is add some flags on the top. I love castles with flags. So I'm just going to draw a straight line. And then you just draw a curved line. And we're going to do this a little bit wavy and come to a point. So when you're drawing this one, just come closer, closer, closer till it meets. Okay. Now all the flags have to go the same direction, so you either have to make them go this way or this way because the wind is going to be blowing them the same way. So we'll draw a wavy line and then we'll meet right there at the point. Okay, let's draw one more flag. Curved line, wavy, and wavy. Okay, now we need to make this look like bricks. So what we're going to do is draw lines across. Let's start with the straight one, the straight um, pieces first. Their lines are just going to go like this, straight across. Now when you get to your door or a window, just jump over it and pretend it's going through. Okay, and I think we'll add one more. And let's do this middle one. Jump through that window. Okay, remember you can always pause the video if you need to take a breath for a minute and catch up, that's okay. 
All right, now on these towers, we're gonna draw lines and we're just gonna curve them just a little bit like we did at the bottom. So I'm gonna start down here and make these lines just a little bit curved. Okay, remember to just go through that window. And one more side. Okay, curve, curve. Okay, now it looks like a striped castle, so we have to show the bricks or else it'll look like it's wearing a striped tablecloth or something. All right, so the way that you do bricks is we just have to make them go every other one. This is a little bit hard, so this is when you really, really look. Remember that I said that great artists look at what they're drawing? So watch this closely. If I do two lines on this row, I'm going to do three lines on this and I'm going to go in between. So in between the spaces, in between the spaces, in between the spaces. Okay, now this is a pattern. Now just do it like this. Two lines, okay, and now we do three. One, two, three. And if you keep doing that all the way up like that pattern, pretty soon you will have a castle that looks like it has bricks. Okay. I'm going to stop right there for a minute because I know that you can keep on going. I want to show you something with the door. The door is made out of wood. We're going to draw lines straight down this time. Okay, there we go. Now, um, oh, I forgot the lines up here, didn't I? Okay. I want to show you how to add a little bit of texture. So this is for a little bit of an older artist who wants to add some more detail and texture. This is what you're going to want to do. We're going to pretend that the sun is shining over here this way. So we're going to see um, some shadows. It's going to hit the castle and then we're going to get a little bit of a shadow. So what I'm going to do is draw a curved line right next to this door and then I'm going to do some short strokes like this. And what that does is it just makes my door go back a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the windows. I'm just going to take this side and do some short lines across. Just makes it look like those castle walls are thick. Okay, and right here we're gonna curve around and like that, and we'll just finish these up right here. Okay, another place that we can put texture is on the um, sides of our towers, on these turrets. So I'm gonna take my lines and just little little lines, and I'm making them just barely curved up that way, up to the top. Okay, you can also do this a little bit on the bricks if you want to. Draw right over your bricks. And when you get to a bigger space like this, you can make some long and some short, not too long, because we're just trying to show texture and shadow but you can vary them just a little bit. And they don't have to be over the whole thing. If you just put them in a few places, then you'll see that texture. Okay, now let's add some grounds to this because this castle's gotta be sitting somewhere, right? We're gonna draw some rolling hills, just a curved line and a curved line, and then we're just gonna add some more on top of that until you hit the hill. A curved line that way, this way, and then you can even do it again. And this makes it look like it goes way far in the distance. Your kingdom is somewhere far away. Because this line's crossing, I have to make it come over here. Okay, and now we need a road from our door. So we're gonna start right at the door, and I'm gonna come out this way, and on this side, I'm gonna let it come out this way. Then it makes it look like you're standing right here in front of the castle and coming right up to the doors. Okay, I'm going to let you finish in the rest of the bricks and add the details that you want. And I hope you had a great time today. I'm sure you did a good job. Remember that you are a great artist. And I hope you keep drawing, and I'll see you next time. Bye.